All right, gang, gang, we in this thing. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button to be a part of the crew. Smash that like button to see what it do, okay? So we want to talk about sapiosexual individuals because I am one. And um, basically, this is somebody that's attracted to the intelligence or knowledge that they receive from an individual. So um, this happens whenever you deal with a lot of 3D relationships, a lot of relationships that just are based upon, like, physicality, like, either... You end up getting with somebody because they physically look good or either other people end up trying to date you because you physically look good. So, like, moving forward, whenever it comes to relationships, that's when you start to be like, all right, I can see that a lot of relationships that I have been through are low vibrational. So, moving forward is one of those things to where you start to get fed off of knowledge. So, you start to find a person's, like, intelligence to be attractive over like physical appearance because a lot of relationships nowadays are based upon physical appearance like somebody will approach you and be like oh so and so look good but it's one of those things where if you're sapiosexual like i'm not saying that we don't get attracted to physicality because we do but it's one of those things to where we get attracted to the intelligence first and then that's when the physical part comes into play so if you're dealing with somebody that's sapiosexual like, you could go up to them and start talking to them. Like, if you're a th third dimensional type of person, you can go up to them and start talking to them. But they're not going to be interested if you're not able to spark their mind. So, it's like they're always looking for somebody that's able to spark their mind. It doesn't have to be on, like, such a high type of level to where it's like, oh, this person's teaching me about the encyclopedia type shit. Like, no, it don't got to be like that. It could just be like... You can spark their mind in terms of street knowledge, in terms of freaking book knowledge. Like, it doesn't matter. As long as this person is learning from you, that's going to be the first thing that they're attracted to. That's going to be what they gravitate towards. It's like, oh shit, this person has actual, like, knowledge that I want to, that I want to learn. But at the same time, I'm surprised by how much knowledge or intelligence that this person has. So it makes it attractive. And like I said, I feel like this is just individuals who have gotten tired of dealing with like third dimensional relationships. And, um, you know, you see that every day to where people will approach. It's, it's one of those things to where we have, we're in a society to where people sit back and focus so much on looks and things like that, that we have lost actually connect up with the person in terms of intelligence and personality wise so um moving forward individuals start to get into a person's intelligence and what they can learn from them so this is where you get sapio <laughs> sapio sexual people to where we will be attracted physically yeah but the first thing that we get attracted to is the knowledge and intelligence of a person and if that person is able to spark our spark our mind or spark our creativity and um so yeah that's just it anyways comment like and subscribe and i'll see y'all next video peace out